Hey guys, you know who it is. It's the Johnny Nomad. It's the it's, it's Johnny Nomad. What am I talking like that for? Anyway, um, man, I just can't believe it. It's doing like the sixth day into the month, and I have surpassed the listens. Like, you guys are amazing. Like, I've surpassed my listens for an entire month for last month. It's only been six days since February. It's a short month. Like, I can't believe it. I guess you guys are enjoying what I'm putting out. So I'm going to continue doing that. Point out more product, more content for you guys. I'm having a blast doing it. I'm meeting and discovering new people. Uh, it's, it's, I'm using this as an education tool for myself. And I want you guys to join me in my journey of just kind of just like, you know, self-development and all that you know I, I love music so i got the hip-hop artists in there um, i have a couple other entrepreneurs i'm gonna put on which is fantastic and you know i'm trying to find some scientists and um some professors and stuff like that as well um to talk about certain things um even political heads if they're willing to come on a giant nomad podcast you know what i'm saying and um just really again like my, my podcast no doubt, I love hip hop. I love underground artists, especially because it's just refreshing sounds that you don't get to hear over and over again. Because, you know, usually artists, after a certain point in time, they tend to just put out kind of that radio hit. You know what I'm saying? And when you got people like really diving deep into their soul to create when they have nothing and they're creating something out of nothing, it's a different sound, it's different lyrics. It's, all the way together, the swag is different. That's what I love about underground artists because it's always a fight. You know what I'm saying? It's always, you know, that, that fight for them to just keep on moving and keep on pushing ahead. And um, same thing for entrepreneurs. I want to, you know, speak to entrepreneurs that who went through the struggle, who's still going through the struggle, who's still, you know, prospering as well. So you guys also can feel and understand that, hey, you're not alone. Like, you know, your concept of thinking, or maybe you're about to give up and you hear, you hear something saying, hey, you know what? I still have a twinkle in my eye for this. Let me continue pushing a little more uh, harder. Let me push for another month, another, another, another uh, year, you know? And um, it, it's always that time when you're about to give up is when you're about to blow up. So, you know, uh, you just have to keep it moving, man. Like, you gotta stay fucking positive. You have to. You know, in the face of, of any type of danger, uh, in the face of any type of of disparity, you got to stay positive. And it's fucking hard, man. Trust me, I'm going through my own issues as well. You know, um, I would love to give you more detail, but it involves someone else as well. So I can't go too deep into it because I'll be, you know, just honoring their loyalty and their privacy as well. But Johnny Nomad, I'm going through it. You know, it's a tough time right now, and um, I'm still pushing through. Uh, I still see the light at the end of the tunnel. Like, none of that has changed for me. The hurdle was here, um, but I'm jumping over it or climbing over it or trying to get around it. Um, But it's not letting me stop. It's not preventing me from, from, from going forward. Like, I'm still fucking doing what I gotta do, no matter what. So, that's a plus. It's an amazing, amazing thing. You know what I'm saying? So just enjoying myself, getting myself healthy again. You know, I found myself, you know, I just hit 41 in January, and um, I'm so fucking out of shape. So fucking out of shape. And uh been walking the six miles a day, which is great. Lost some weight, which is fantastic. But, uh, man, I just feel rickety. I, like, my body movement just feels tight and don't feel, you know, like the way I should be moving. You know, I have six year old twins and a ten year old, so I gotta keep up with them. And they're they're amazing. I love them so much. And um then I have my older my older kids and they're teenagers and early twenties and they're it's wonderful to see them grow. It's wonderful to see how they're they're moving. So it's fantastic. You know what I'm saying? But yo, I can't say enough. Like I you know, I think I did a podcast about saying thank you already, but damn. Like, damn, like yesterday I checked the analytics because I'm big on numbers. 
you know, I'm always dissecting to see which you guys pre premise and which you guys like a lot of stuff and see if I can try to get that to you more often or not. And um, I, I surpassed what I did last month in the past five fucking days. Thank you. I Thank you. Thank, thank you. What the fuck, man? Thank you so much. I'm truly, truly a fucking appreciative. I'm truly grateful that you guys are enjoying the podcast. I'm enjoying the fuck out of it. You know what I'm saying? It's teaching me a new way how to how to conversate and speak to people. Um, not that I had a problem doing that, but I, I think I did have a problem doing it because I was never one to come up first to start a conversation with folks. Um, I really didn't give two shits really about someone's life or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I always was kept to myself. I was always, always very much so an introvert. And my job... Because I was been doing retail management for so fucking years, I you know I was forced to have that customer service and be pre pleasant and 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 give people that kind of concierge customer service type of stuff, and it forced me to speak to people even though I didn't want to. Um, but now, I guess those were great teachings because now I'm using all that I've learned from that for the podcast. You know, I'm I'm tagging people in the DMs. I don't give a fuck if you're interesting to me. I'm gonna tag you, so be ready for that. You know what I'm saying? If I find you or if not, you can hit me up, DM me, you know, on Giant Nomad underscore on Instagram. And, um, you know, if you're interesting enough, I want to get to know you. I want to get to know about you. I want to get to know what the fuck you're doing, how you, how you, how you, how you, you know, maneuvering around your path, your journey. Um, cause it's interesting. You know, people are very interesting. You know what I'm saying? And when you start discovering that, it's so much of a fucking win. Like, it's truly a fucking win for you. You know, and you can learn so much from other folks. And that's the true education. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't get the stuff I'm trying to get from the podcast from a university. No doubt they have their place. But there's nothing like fucking meeting and talking to people and learning and networking and, and maneuvering in a certain way that's really beneficial to how the world really moves. You know, university is, is and studying is, is just that. It's, it's a concept. It's a theory. You can't really practice it until you go out there. And when you practice it, you notice that a lot of the theory, it's, 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 it's there, the framework is there, but it's not really taught what goes on in, in, in the streets of grinding and, and, and making business moves and, and foreseeing your future. Like, there's a lot for you, for you to fucking learn. Um, and you really can't put that shit in a fucking book because everyone moves differently. Everyone does business differently. You know, so everybody learns differently. So that structured way it's not structured in a real fucking world. So to maneuver the way you want, you got to believe in yourself, man. And damn, that's what I'm fucking doing. Learning so much from other people I'm interviewing. So fucking ecstatic. You know, constantly just, just feeding my fucking brain. Feeding it, feeding it, feeding it with much, much more knowledge. Um, it's fucking fantastic. You know, now I'm doing book of the weeks. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's giving me something to really look at. And I'm reading books that I enjoy. I really like to read memoirs and bios, you know what I'm saying? Um, history, I love to read history as well. I may throw in a couple of fictional books in there. I don't give a fuck. Like, it, like you got to take your mind away sometimes too. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to do things to give your body or your mind a rest, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, working out is definitely going to be beneficial. This year is about me just being healthy, you know, getting down on the weight. I'm not even weighing myself. I'm just going to get down on weight, eat properly so I can feel good. I'm going to how I feel good because a weight, it's not going to make me feel good. You know what I'm saying? It's when I adjust in my body, it's going to make me feel good. So that's what we're doing. That, that's what we're going to fucking continue doing. And month two so far is banging. And I'm continuing that. And, not to, and then not to say that there might not be other hurdles coming up. I'm expecting it. I want more challenges. Come at me because I'm leveling up. And every time you level up, the boss at the end is always bigger and better. And you got to beat that boss every, every level you fucking go to. So... I'm fucking rocking and rolling with it. You guys are fucking with me. I'm so, so fucking ecstatic. Um, yeah, man. To the heart, I'm fucking moved, man. So Giant Nomad is thankful. I'm grateful. I'm going to get a lot more fucking people on this month, the last month, and the prior month to that, which is fantastic. And going into March, the same fucking thing. So let's um, let's be ready for that. Let's, let's make this movement strong. And if... 
you can, if you can share a podcast with your family and friends, I'll be forever thankful, forever grateful, forever indebted to you. Um, cause sharing is caring. So if you, if you love my podcast, you love the episodes, Hey, share an episode with one of your friends, family members. Like I said, I'll be truly indebted. If you guys can, if you're listening to me on iTunes, write a review, you know, put some stars down. Let me know how I'm doing. If you like the episode or not, cause I want criticism. I want to I wanna be able to learn from that as well. I also want to learn as far as what type of, of, of knowledge you guys want as well. You know what I'm saying? So let me know how you're feeling. And put that down. You know what I'm saying? And, and rate me on, on iTunes and um, subscribe if you can so you get the notification as soon as the new episode comes up. You know what I'm saying? So, um, man, guys, thank you. Thank you so much. You can find me on Anchor. Anchor is my sponsor right now as well. So I want to give a big shout out to Anchor. Anchor, you guys are freaking amazing. You guys have a, a genius platform. It makes podcasting so freaking easy, you know, and to, to have a sponsor with me being so young in my podcasting, you know, endeavors is fucking crazy insane. So I want to give a huge, huge fucking shout out to Anchor. Love you guys so fucking much. You guys are fucking amazing. Keep it smooth. Keep it rocking. Nomad is out. Thank you.